How is that not a smoking gun? It's not a smoking gun. It's a smoking missile coming from China aimed at the heart of the national security threat of the United States of America. This investigation is ongoing, but I can tell you without hesitation, it's very serious and the President of the United States is going to have a very hard time explaining how so many of his family members have received so much money from our adversaries around the world. We also know that multiple Bidens have engaged in no fewer than five transactions worth no less than $31 million with members of the Chinese military. If Joe Biden did actually receive money uh, in a roundabout way or directly from foreign adversaries, how compromised is he as the sitting president and really our country? Well, first it was Hunter, then Jim Biden, then Haley Biden, and now subpoenaed financial records show that six other members of the Biden family received money in a potential influence peddling scheme. Hmm. That according to House Committee Chairman James Comer. Eric Eggers is an investigator at the Government Accountability Institute and co-host of the Drill Down podcast, and he joins us now. Eric, good to have you back. Hey, thanks, Ross. Great to be here. So let's first listen to how the chairman of the committee put it. This is something that should be troubling to every American. And what we've learned from, from going through these records are there are a lot of additional uh, LLCs, a lot of additional bank accounts that we didn't know prior to going uh, to the Treasury Cabinet. So we've learned a lot. This investigation is ongoing, but I can tell you without hesitation, it's very serious, and the President of the United States is going to have a very hard time explaining how so many of his family members have received so much money from our adversaries around the world. So the plot thickens and widens on the Bidens. Tell us what they uncovered when they walked over to the Treasury Department. Well, what they uncovered is that the web may continue to expand in terms of the number of Bidens that are enmeshed and immersed in this influence peddling scheme. The number of Bidens who have received money in an effort to influence the Biden family may continue to grow. But the center of the web, Rob, has not changed. And what they'll discover as they continue to subpoena bank records, financial records, they get details and they're able to name names and see numbers as far as these transactions go, is the one name at the center remains Joe Biden. That's the only reason foreign governments like China, shady Ukrainian energy companies, and other uh, questionable business entities around the globe would pay anybody with the last name Biden because they're attempting to curry favor with the current president of the United States. It's as simple as that. You know, at the Government Accountability Institute, we've been pouring over the emails that we've had access to from a number of different accounts from Hunter Biden. And of all the emails we've seen, and I think this is validated by the financial transactions that this House committee is looking at, of all the House transactions, of all the financial transactions the House is looking at, the one thing we haven't seen is that it hasn't gotten smaller. The number of Bidens involved hasn't gotten fewer, right? The amount of money they're making hasn't gotten smaller. It, the enterprise continues, the true size of the enterprise continues to be revealed, and it continues to be incredibly more troubling for the president of the United States. So the president still maintains he had nothing to do with this, doesn't know what's going on with regard to the family businesses. Uh, the Democrats are starting to push back a little more aggressively now and publicly and saying there's nothing here. And uh, the media, of course, is completely disinterested. So is there a smoking gun yet or is it all still very circumstantial? Well, I guess let's back up, right? Uh, let's remember what we actually know. We know that Hunter Biden entered into an unprecedented one and a half billion dollar joint venture with the Chinese government when he traveled with his vice president father on Air Force Two to China when his vice president father was on official business. He started that business venture with China less than a week after Joe Biden leaves China, right? That's the beginning of this relationship. We also know that multiple Bidens have engaged in no fewer than five transactions worth no less than $31 million with members of the Chinese military. So I think it's a bit of a moving goalpost scenario to suggest that there's no smoking gun. How is that not a smoking gun? It's not a smoking gun. It's a smoking missile coming from China aimed at the heart of the national security threat of the United States of America. So I think that's a very real thing. I'd be very concerned about it. The fact is our greatest geopolitical threat is in business with multiple members of the president's family. How is that not a smoking gun? Well, the, you know, Hunter used to take trips on Air Force Two. Now he's been upgraded to Air Force One. He went to Ireland last week with his father. Do you think uh, in some respects the Bidens are saying uh, to the GOP, here's another stick in your eye. 
uh, and they feel kind of entitled or impenetrable at this point because, you know, it, that was not great optics. It's not great optics, and I think you're absolutely right. I think the best defense in this case is a good offense, and by good offense, I mean just to be offensive to any American that thinks that the President of the United States and his family should operate with a modicum of ethical boundaries, right? I mean, remember, Hunter Biden has now decided he's okay to sell art again to undisclosed buyers. So that's another vehicle for money laundering that has now opened up with the tacit approval of the mainstream media and the cultural left. Hunter Biden, the world-renowned artist, is now once again for sale. And I think, unfortunately, by extension, so is the Biden family. Whatever happened to the laptop? Did the FBI throw that in the Potomac? It's been three years. We've heard nothing. What is the latest on that? So I think that you'll find, and this is where I, I understand, you know, the frustration that many Americans have. I'm sure the frustration that your viewers have. What, is there a there there? Where is this all going? What will this lead to if the Democrats are saying there's nothing here? Um, I think you have to remember, it's a piece-by-piece -piece situation. The House Republicans have only had access to financial records for a few months now. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to go and they're going to get the granular detail of the bank records. They're going to be able to match that up with the communication records from the emails. And if eventually a pattern of pay-for-play, influence peddling, will begin to emerge. Now, will it lead to a criminal charge? I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. But I will say that I think that the picture will continue to become more clear and I think it's going to be a picture so compelling, Hunter Biden will wish he had painted it. So if, um, if Joe Biden did actually receive money uh, in a roundabout way or directly from foreign adversaries, how compromised is he as the sitting president and really our country? Well, I think, you know, we've talked before, Rob, about the spy balloon that floated over the country and was allowed to float over the country for the last week or for a week before it was eventually shot down uh, over oceans. And what we now know is that spy balloon was absolutely successful in collecting intelligence on U.S. military assets. So, well, I think there was some members of the military that suggested it should not be allowed to fly over U.S. airspace. I think those are the types of things, like when we allow China to have the level of access they do, uh, and they're unquestioned, and we're, and we're less aggressive with them in terms of our pushback. I think those are the types of things, that's the kind of posture that you can't help but wonder, has it been softened by the cozy relationship the Biden family has with the, country, with the government of China? Eric, always great to have you on. Thanks again. Thank you, Rob.